Hey guys, it's Tommy. What's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Popcorn McBurger. Ladies, ladies, ladies. There's enough cock for both of you. Yeah, that was rocky. So anyway, uh, <laughs> welcome to this rant on the recent Storm Cellbot HQ uh, Toontown rewritten update. Um, this is just a quick update, or a quick rant, per se, on the stupid, stupid move of TTR to try and recreate Storm Cellbot HQ, which was initially an event that stemmed so much carrying and caused so many low tunes to think that they could actually do the VP. Yeah, basically it was an epic fail in TTO and it's destined to be one in TTR, if not worse. So, yeah. So basically, if any of you guys remember from TTO, um, if you played back then, if you're not like a nine-year-old child, uh, you would remember that Storm Cellbot HQ was an event where Flippy's Doodle, or someone's Doodle, I think it was Flippy's, uh, apparently chewed on some power lines in Cell by HQ, somehow did not die from electrocution, <laughs> and managed to severely yeah. <laughs> cripple the efforts of the Cellbot Towers and the Cellbot Factory, which made VP runs ridiculously easy, having COGS only be up to level 6, I believe, and they made it so any tune, regardless of laugh or gags, could go into this, to the VP, even if they did not have a suit. Yeah, and I mean, I feel like it was a, from the start, I mean, the whole concept of drawing in players, like from that standpoint, it's, well, not from TTR standpoint, but in TTO, I mean, that was a good business move, um, at least it appeared to be anyway, uh, but, it, but it was an epic fail, but um, if carried out correctly, I think uh, it could have been, it could have been a useful event, but um, kind of like Storm Lawbot, which was a community-based uh, event in, I believe, 2007, um, that that was actually good. That was actually a, a good event, and, um, and not an epic fail. But uh, when Disney tried to do it, it was an epic fail, and uh, it's going to repeat itself. And we'll get to that later in this rant. So the biggest problem of Storm Cellbot was not exactly like the event itself, because I mean, some of us actually had some fun with it. We were just like, <laughs> "The VP is easy enough. This will be even easier," and we just picked up like. I think they gave crappier SOS cards. Yeah, as well. they Is did. That they did. That that was that was a problem. They gave yeah. uh, the the rate on good SOS it cards. Was, was yeah, different. it was a big middle finger if you wanted to go SOS shopping for that week, or if yeah. you just wanted a challenge at all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was one of the immediate effects. But the real problem was the after effect, which was with so many tunes like below thirty laugh who weren't even Ubers trying to go into the VP who would, I mean, assumably win, like, if the COGS are only level 6, I don't see how anyone could die under those circumstances. After the event ended, they found that they wouldn't be able to VP because they did not have a Cellbot suit. So what did they do? They all got carried through 10 factories and challenged the VP again, thinking that and they could lost. just take it all over. Hey, uh, Tommy, can I explain the, like, the science behind this? Go ahead. Yeah. Um... I'm actually just doing this off the spot, but this is this is what I think. Now, as a business move, as Tommy said, you know, it was smart. It was to attract in either new or free players to some member content. If a new player or a free player um, sees it and plays it, and, and they might say, Oh, I want to do that easy VP again. That was really fun. I'm going to ask my mom or my dad to buy me a $10 membership. So, by seeing the VP and experiencing the VP for the first time on top of thinking it was easy what the players wanted to immediately do after they got their membership was run and try to get to the VP as soon as they can they ignored tune tasks partially probably they ignored they gag did. training and all they wanted to do was go to that same thing they had fun in just a couple weeks before because it was free uh, the VP and you know as Tommy is about to explain with Anthony here, um, that's what led to a lot of people quitting and a lot of noobs infesting the game. Yeah, like, um, I mean, here's here's the biggest issue with uh, Storm Cellbot. Okay, the game already has enough carrying issues, like, with people getting carried all the time and then thinking, okay, we're good enough to do this and we can do it on our own, and then they die. Um, or people being entitled and then trying to piss others off. And, um, you know, this only got worse with TTR, you know, promoting such behavior. But um, we'll get 
more to TTR a little bit later. This is more focusing on TTO. But I'm, um, yeah, I mean, it, like like we said, it was a good business move, seemingly, but it was just carried out horribly and uh, pissed a lot of players off, um, a lot of the new players, uh, because they, they couldn't, they were kind of lied to and led on to believe, you know, that, like, it was going to be easy, and it wasn't. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was kind of a shit show overall. Um, in fact, there's not really much good to say about it, but if you look at this page that I just pulled up, it's the uh, Toontown Wiki article of the original Operation Storm Cellbot. It says I'll that... I'll that in mine as well, sorry. Because I forgot the date of it. It was actually done in 2010. And in my personal, like, in my opinion, that's around when the game started to kind of, like, hit the fan. Like, when shit started to hit the fan. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it went um, downhill with... Yeah, okay, go ahead. Oh, well, I, I was just going to say, like, that seemed to be around the time when it was, like, the turning point. Like, Yeah, like, it got terrible. Know, terrible. Terrible, like, like yeah. <laughs> when was the hacking crisis? When did that happen? The same year. The same year. Yeah. The same year? And I mean, All right. Like, from my standpoint, like, I mean, it wasn't... It was never as... It was never at its peak anymore once Speech App Plus came out. Um, that kind of messed it up. But, yeah, I mean, it, the real... When it, what really made it become pretty bad was, uh, you know... The hacking and all that, and uh, yeah, around the time of this event, uh, well, it's just coincidental in. because that yeah. marks just a year of Toontown shit, don't you think? And after that, even less updates started to come out because, like, mm -hmm. 2011, we barely got anything except for like accessories, and then 2012, nothing. And then I think it was in was it in 2012 or 2013 that closed down. And it closed down September 2013, so we're coming up in about a month or so, a little over a month here on the two-year anniversary of it closing. Whoop! Oh, no, I, I, I gotta, I gotta say something. Go so some watching may be confused as to you know uh, why did uh, Disney exactly stop working on the game? And as Tommy said, it is correlated to the event, but I'm going to explain specifically how. When. The, when more noobs started to play, as um, you might have seen Crazy Dog and Pop's video about the same subject a couple years ago. Yeah, that's a good video. <laughs> yeah, that's a good video. Annotation yep. um, to these guys is probably in the description if you guys remember. Anyways, um, caused a lot of players to leave. Now, we see a timeline of events here. I'm going to explain it. Disney was working on new content. You know, they were. The fill offices, they had. Cellbot field offices, and then the ones for all other classes of COGS. So they were working on stuff. But right after um, Storm Cellbot HQ, why didn't they release anything? Because they saw that deep decline in players and thought, you know, it's not worth it to keep contracting Jesse Shell and to keep contracting Shell Games to keep working on these field offices when we're just making less money. Okay? Why would Disney who we know from concept art and we know from leaked models and leaked images, why would they be working on all four field offices and even working on maybe more stuff, but then just stop right around when this event happens? That's not a coincidence. It is because of this event that they stopped working on that content, which, you know, they, they were in the middle of creating. Yeah, well, I mean, like, not only did this event, like, create shitty players, more shitty players, um... Like, like Rocky said, it made people quit. Like, a lot of people quit um, just because, you know, th they were lied to um, in TTO. And, um, you know, we'll tie this into TTR here in a little bit coming up. Um, but, yeah, Tommy, did you have uh, something you wanted to add? Uh, well, my big question is, why the hell are they bringing it back in that case? Because, like, mm -hmm. this is just, like, the icing on the shit sandwich or the shit cake or whatever this is. Yeah. But <laughs> I got to say one thing. There actually is... A bright part to this and if you scroll down on the toontown rewritten post on their website you'll see that they put tune tasks up now it's not exactly the tune tasks that are really the good things because i mean it's just making more noobs want to go into the vp yeah. but if you, look, if you look at the reward double xp for three hours is one of the listed ones that's actually not exactly a bad thing just because when you think about it like we need some of the noobs to train their gags. Hell yeah. <laughs> and we need people to stop being so shitty. So maybe, just maybe, during those three hours, they'll think, hey, maybe I can just go out and train my gags and actually like get better at this game before 
I go on and complete old man's task before mm-hmm. I trouble people with my non-max sound before I go into VPs and expect to be fucking carried when I have only one max gag at one or less or, or or an average gag of level five or four. I mean, but yeah, like yeah, Tommy, you're you're looking at the one the one lone bright spot in the dark shit cave there, man. That's uh, <laughs> but and yeah, even, I mean, it just, even <laughs> like even then, it's a tiny one. Like they say. These special tune tasks will give unique rewards such as merits, double XP, cog disguise parts, and SOS cards. I'll yeah. be interested in seeing how many merits they give because if it gives like maybe 3,000 or like 2,000 merits, like that might actually be a good idea. Yeah. That, that might actually not be bad. Now, cog disguise parts, ooh, that just saves people in the factory a little bit of stress, but also gets the noobs a little bit closer to actually doing the VP, which mm-hmm. is not what we need. Yeah, um, and if you think about it, this this event is like right up Toontown Rewritten's alley, considering you know they've gotten to the point where they ban the smart players and the you know the players that you know know what they're doing in favor of catering to the noobs because yeah they they like if you don't let a noob for example if uh, uh, Toon has been banned before for something like. Uh, not letting a tune train his gags in a VP because it's not being a team player according to TTR, which is utter bullshit. And because um, I mean, the tune training his drop in the VP is the one not being a team player, not the tune trying to work as a team and pick the uh, proper gag for the situation. But um, yeah, so this is right up their alley. And um, like in TTO, I'm guessing I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing. They will be giving. I, I believe in TTO there was some reward for those tunes that carried the most uh, oh, tunes oh, with oh, rental speaking suits. Speaking of that reward, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt. Anthony, no problem. But, um, that reward, ironically, was already given out at the previous carrying event, where if they saw you like helping a noob with a building near Cellbot HQ, remember that event? It would automatically give you the, um, the uh, same. Yes. Yeah, back, back yeah. a long, long ways back. Yeah, quite a ways mm-hmm. back. I don't know when, but. Yeah, I do remember that, Rocky. Yeah. So, so yeah, so I, I'm assuming there's going to be something along those lines to, uh, you know, get you to carry some people that don't need to be doing the VP in the first place. But yeah, this is stupid. But anyway, go on, Tommy. <laughs> so I just have one last thing to say, um, and it kind of involves two things that you just said, Anthony. You said yeah. catering to the noobs and training gags. Now, now that I look at these tune tasks, what happens if someone completes one of these tasks? gets double XP for three hours and thinks, huh, I might as well go VP while I still have the chance, and now that I have double XP, let's train my gags in the VP. Yep, exactly. Oh it's a slippery God, slope, man. That is yep. horrible. Therefore, this is, there are no good parts this entire thing. Yeah. Double XP, <laughs> if, unless the tune is smart and maybe says, hey, let's step away from the VP and actually do some decent training on my own, maybe with a friend if they're actually going to tolerate my ass, but... Mm-hmm. No, for the majority of the tune population, they're probably just going to go right back in the VP, spam their fucking cream pie slice, get their – no, get no experience because they'll die eventually. Yep, yep. Unless they're carried, then they'll get like 72 or something. Which they could have gotten like within two minutes in a building, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, I take back what I said. This is – well – it's hard because this could be good, but it's most likely going to be it's, bad. It's 99% bad and a 1% There's chance of having of something go good. <laughs> yeah, and like my thing is why have the event in the first place? You know, this is a free-to-play game. Why do you need to be showing people – okay, let's just – 95%, I'd say, or probably greater than 95% of the people that play this game play Toontown Original. And I, I mean I, I'd be willing to bet that at least, you know – 70% total have done a VP sometime in their life. So what is the point of trying to show them st- something they've probably already done and, and nerfing it? Like, what what good does this do? It's You're not trying that to sell... That would have done good for TTO, and they yeah. had a reason to. They're not trying to sell anything in TTR, so why... They're not trying to sell the game. Like, if you want to play the game, you've heard about the game, most likely, so there's nothing to sell. You know about everything, so what is the point here? Just to... Piss, piss all the high tunes off? I mean, that's the only thing I can think of, personally. So, in, in fact, you keep saying you keep saying great things, Anthony. Thank you. Pissing off the high tunes. Now, you look at 
what the entire community has kind of been asking for in the past, which has been things to make the game harder, things to cater yes. to the no. veteran players. Like, what is this doing? It's allowing noobs to go into the VP. It's allowing noobs to get double XP for the gags that they have not trained, unlike mm -hmm. the max tunes. It is allowing noobs to just get things that they shouldn't have already without yes. any hard work. Entitled, and that, stupid, low, and useless. Once yeah. again, thank you, TTR. You have done a fantastic job. And that's and to to like go on with that point you were making, um, that's the reason because not only did TTO or Disney fail at this, but the TTR staff failed at this as well. It, even worse, uh, making the game more challenging. That's the reason, or they're not even making it more challenging. They're dumbing it down. Remember the, back? Um, I don't know what year it was, but. Back long ago, the factory was much harder, as was the VP. But they made it easier. They made they nerfed it for whatever reason. I, I guess just I mean the obvious one to cater to the noobs. But I don't know why they decided to do it. But um, but yeah, that's that's the biggest reason, or not the biggest reason, but a a large reason why many of the players of the good players have all quit. Um, not all, but like you know, I mean, many have quit, and um, you know. That, that's that's a big reason for that, unfortunately. Yeah. And the icy on the cake here is, while it did fail for Disney, it's not a, like the game population went down. Sure, high players quit, but, you know, noobs filled their place. But Toons, how you're in, they aren't getting an influx of new players. So once a lot of people quit from this event, mm -hmm. who's going to fill their place? The population will only go down. And not only will it go down, the um, the stupidity will rise because it's the mentality you create. If you create a mentality of, you know, carrying, of, um, you know, being entitled towards things, that's the mentality. Like, as if you create that as a, as a community, as like a, as like a staff, then your community will take on what the staff, you take know, it, yeah, yeah. throws out. Yeah, take it like this. Yeah, take it like this. If you have a teacher that always gives no homework, you're going to love it, right? Mm -hmm. But then, <laughs> once, like, you got to get down to business. You know, there's a test coming up soon or, like, uh, you know, an SAT if you're, like, uh, you know, if you're uh, in high, high school, school or whatever. Yeah. And then that teacher finally says, all right, kids, you got to get some homework. And it's, like, halfway through the year. Your first time getting homework, you're going to be pissed off. That's not going to happen. You're not going to do it. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to do it. Yeah, I mean, it's the same. It's the same concept. Exactly. That's that's mm -hmm. a great comparison. Mm-hmm. Said the black man. <laughs> that's an inside joke. <laughs> um, well, I have nothing else to say. I guess the one last thing I have to say is that last time, the storm cellbot was slightly amusing because they made up a backstory. They said. Flippy's doodle chewed through the wires and like ate shit up, and that's what caused it. But if you look at the website, it just says our resistance rangers also managed to slow down factory production, which has resulted in much lower cog levels available. Like, yeah, why okay, yeah. like how? Like, great, yeah. like explain it, please. Give me, like, throw give me, me a bone. Man. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care about the story, like, but you know, I mean, if you're gonna do it, you might as well have a good reason for your story. I mean, like, like, like they could have straight. introduced doodles by this, like, like yeah, a, a new, exactly. a new yeah. species called a doodle chewed on the wires, and afterwards we get the doodles to help us with the VP. Yeah, I mean, a at least that would introduce something new. And that, then it would have had a, a a good something good come out of it, at least. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically what we're getting here is we're gonna get more entitled noobs, uh, pissed off high tunes. Uh, you're not gonna be able to do a VP that's fun at all. Uh, because it's just going to be extremely easy. I think it does like the the VP's jump in the final round does like two damage. He barely moves. He's slower. The pies do way more when you throw them at him. His undercarriage is like open for way longer. Yeah, it's like if you want to do a fun VP battle or solo or something, you're not gonna you're not gonna have that opportunity because it's nerfed so incredibly bad um, or so incredibly much that it's just ridiculously easy and Guys, stupid. It was, hey, it was easy in TTO, right? But um, yeah. we know for a fact it'll be easier in TTR. Ah, uh, yes. We have, uh, let's just say we have sources and we know we know for a fact that um, it's going to be even easier. And we can't tell you how we know these these this information or which source we got just, this just information trust us, from. Just trust us. But trust us because, you know, we, we're the ones that uh, 
just speaking the truth here. So, with that, I don't really have anything else to say except when Storm Cellbot happens, I will re-log onto my tune, which I have not been on in two months, and I'm going to make a solo of the Storm Cellbot VP and act like I'm the shit and act like it's something really, really difficult, all right? Yeah, man. You're, you're going to be like a noob, man. You're going to feel like a noob. Or no, like like a good noob, like like the noobs feel. You're going to feel oh. like you're, you're something. something you're going to feel man. like you achieved something when you didn't. Yes, there you go. That's, that's, that's exactly, what I was trying to say. <laughs> that's exactly how all the noobs out there should feel, but probably won't feel because they're going to think, wow, I took they down the VP. They feel that way all the time, honestly. They're going to think, wow, I took down the VP, so let's go do it again and again and again Then and uh, again. August 14th shows up. <laughs> yeah, or that's 15, when the fun begins. Yeah, that's when when the 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 what the fuck stuff happens. <laughs> that's when Goshi appears. That's when Goshi makes you make a new tune. <laughs> <laughs> Rocky, you would know that. Rocky knows yeah. all too well about making new tunes. <laughs> Rocky, do you have any words for Goshi in case he watches this? Oh, he can't even understand. Yeah, he can't even English. understand it. <laughs> so. Well, I think we're getting a little off track here. Um, even though yeah. that is pretty hilarious. Um, I think we're going to cut it off there, don't you yeah. think? Yeah, I we're think we here. probably should cut it off. Yeah, we're at um, 21 minutes. Unless I you got think... anything else to add, either of you. I have I got... nothing. But I was just saying I have nothing to add unless you guys do. I got nothing except um, fuck this event. Yep, fuck this event. I can't wait to see what happens to the community because of it. Yeah, and, bas- and I just all I have to add is basically TTR... You basically are backwards as hell and do everything you could possibly do that is wrong. You do if 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 it's the right thing to do, you do the opposite. Let's just put it that way. So uh, take from that T- what you will. TTR is TTO minus one. Sure. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm gonna end the video off there. Uh, thanks for watching this rant. I am Tommy. Doctor Popcorn Burger. Ben, right? Yeah, um, <laughs> they know who you are. But anyway, um, we're gonna end it here. At least I am. So peace, guys. Thanks for watching, peace. guys. See you next time. <laughs>